All right. I'm so excited. This is the favorite order of all time because I ordered so many exciting things to go with other things I have. And, you know, I try to order the things only that I need. And this is something I needed. Welcome. If you're a new to my channel, subscribe because I'm telling you, we have fun here and we laugh. I laugh at myself. I can laugh at your comments and, you know, we have fun here. And so, subscribe. And, oh no. Okay, there. Almost went out. And, um, give me a like if you already subscribed. I will link everything below because I don't know how to do that now. And, um, you know, if you haven't, looked at Timu yet, then you could use a code that I link and then you get it coupons and a discount and everything if you order right away. But everybody who watches probably already is a Timu person and that's why they're watching again. So I don't have very much faith in, you know, getting a ton of subscribers under me. Is it like a pyramid? No, you just get coupons. I forgot to put earrings, but we'll just have my hair cover it. And look, did you ever see my hair like straight? No, because, you know, some people who come in with hair like this, they think, oh, they didn't do their hair, but not me. If I have hair like this, it means I did my hair because I had to straighten it. But really, I just blue dry it instead of letting it dry by itself. Okay, let me see what else am I going to say. Um... I don't have any notes. I didn't write any notes, what I was supposed to remember to say. Um, okay, subscribe. That was the first thing to say. And if you don't want to give me a like now, then wait till it's over, and then you can give me a like if you liked it. And we had snow all night and this morning, so people, I hear snow plows out there, and my husband had to go snow plow. And the kids are coming on the bus after school, my grandkids, so... They're spending the night. I might record some of them. But what gets the most recording, most movement and watches, what is it called? Watching is the Timu stuff. So I got to keep doing Timu because that's how I'm going to get my messages out there. My good messages I have. Oh, gosh. You know what? I hope I can get this lid off or it's not going to be a very good demonstration. I hope I'm not breaking it. I'm not. But all that's hard to get off. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Look inside. It's a wheat grinder. Because I never... I have my KitchenAid has an attachment to grind the wheat. And then my son has the real wheat grinder. I can take it over there and I grind my wheat. But what if I'm stuck home and I'm buried in snow? I can't get out. I don't have any bread. I need to make bread. And I, I have my wheat. I put it in these bottles. Do you know why? Same reason. I put my rice in them and everything because I've even put flour in them. If the house flooded or if we get a flood, then it's sealed tight and I can, you know, it'll float by and you can grab it and you'll still have food. So, yes, I love to put it in these things and the bugs can't get in I don't think so get save your bottles and put all your food in them grind up your cookies stuff them in <laughs> no, I'm just kidding I wonder how much wheat I should put in I don't know it didn't it said it would grind um nuts and stuff I just asked my son do you think it will grind wheat Never run empty or with solid. Never run more than 60 seconds at one time. Oh, I'm glad I read this ahead of time. Always unplug at the time of pouring and cleaning and avoiding your hand or fingers to be hurt. Oh, we know. My son got his fingers chopped off. Did you hear? I probably told that story. I'll tell you again. He was um, at the school, in the elementary school, in the field and he found this little cartridge on the ground so he picks it up and he showed it to me and I just thought it was like an empty bullet shell or something I didn't know what it was so I'm like yeah okay then 
I guess it had somebody drilled it out and put, it was a CO2, CTO, CO2 cartridge. They drilled it out and put gun black gunpowder in it. I don't know what it was for, but he didn't do it because we didn't have any gunpowder. So anyway, he's in the bedroom and he's shaking it out and he had a lighter and it would fizzle and he thought it was so cool. So he just kept doing it. Well, at one point, I guess the air, somebody told me this, the air went up into the cartridge with the flame and it blew up. And there went his fingers, this finger, this finger, this part of thumb broke these two fingers and this one got wedged out. So he's like this now. Well, I can't do it, but it was horrible. He was in eighth grade. And Emily was in there, and she was just like, you know, little kid this big standing there watching it. And his fingernails shot out, and later I found one fingernail wedged in the curtain and in the blanket. That's what force they went through. And um, then I we heard the boom. So I was cooking dinner, so I ran down there. I thought they were just doing their homework in the bedroom. So I ran down there and, um, sorry, I got a message. I was reading it for my daughter. And so I went down in the bedroom and I looked and here's his fingers gone. It wasn't bleeding. I don't remember blood. I just remember fingers gone. And my first thought was fingers don't grow back. And then, you know, my husband, Luckily, he wasn't drunk right then, my ex-dead husband. And so he ran and got in the car, and but we didn't have an emergency room in our town. So we ran to the clinic, but they were just closing, but there was one doctor still there. And so he bandaged him up and they called the, but then they were mad at me because I got in the car and then I remembered my purse. So I got out of the car and ran back in and oh, the husband threw a towel, a dish towel over his hand so he wouldn't have to look at it. It looked like, you know, a turkey leg, those little, they're not really bones, but they're those sinew thing. Ew. That's what it looked like. I couldn't eat a turkey leg for a long time and look at it because that's what the bones were just like shivered, severed out of it. Ugh. It was heartbreaking. So then they air flighted him to Medford, Oregon, where the big hospital was. And luckily there was a doctor there who has been in the war and repaired blown up hands and stuff. And then he also did breast enlargements. That was a good combination of career for him. But I didn't go to him for me, but anyway, they fixed him up and had to amputate and fix it. And they want to leave a knuckle when they remove him because that knuckle is good instead of soft tissue. And, and they fixed him up and he had to quit his football career. He wasn't very good at it anyway. I mean, my son, not the doctor. And so he's gone through life since he was in eighth grade with those fingers gone but he's managed okay. Anyway, and I said, when you're resurrected and you will get your fingers back. And he said, well, what if I don't want them? He got a lot of attention, I think, that's why. And he manages fine. He doesn't type very well though. All right, we're gonna try this wheat, electric wheat grinder back. Get away from that story, that horrible thought of that. He had to always have like his hand up like this when it was healing and, <sighs> It's just a horrible way parents have to go through. Oh, it just shows how it's all put together. I just don't know if it's going to grind wheat. Under any circumstances, allow machine to run for 30 or 45 seconds until solids are ground satisfactory. satisfactory. If used for over 45 seconds, but not exceeding 60 seconds in a time given. All right. And then we have to let it rest for 60 seconds before we turn it on again. I'm not going to let anybody else use this because they didn't read this and they're not going to follow the instructions. Does it say how much you put in, I wonder? Never use the bowl more than two-thirds full. When the 
when in use, top plastic lid must be closed tightly. Oh, this grinder will grind coffee beans, peanuts, pepper beans, and almonds, etc. The, these solids must contain no moisture. My wheat doesn't have any moisture. Oh, I'm going to need more than that. Because it didn't even cover it. Okay. No two-thirds. Okay. Gonna have to make bread then. Wheat bread. It's gonna be good. Okay. Got the lid on. Now we have to do it for no more than a minute. Ugh. All right. I'm gonna have, I have a minute hand, a second hand up here. So when it gets right there, I'm gonna start it. And we're gonna time it. Okay, one, one more second. That was not, that was only like 30 seconds, but it flowers puffing out. Oh, I love it. Oh, there is some chunks still. Yeah, I should, but look at it. It is flour, but there's still a little bit more pieces. So I should have gone the whole 45, like they said. Okay. Oh, I just love it. You guys have to get one. Well, if you have wheat. It is. It's just real flour now. Oh, I thought of everything. I have, wait, I do. I have something here I can pour it into. Okay. I thought of everything. Look. That's going to make perfect bread. It's wonderful flour, and there's no chunkettes in it. Oh, I am so... Only $11.69. This is a dream come true. We're going to be healthier now eating this. What did I do with the lid to my wheat? Oh, no. We're going to have a flood. It's going to get wet. But, you know, at one time, they had these bottles, and they had a bigger spigot up here. I loved those, but I don't think they make them anymore. Darn it, in our town. Oh, now I got flour everywhere. Not really, but I got to start clean. Okay. Oh, that made me so happy. Oh, look what I found. My Jim, Jim's GRA card. All right. Now, I just can't decide what to show you next because there's so many good things. My my son paid like $150 at the DI, the Goodwill, for his grinder. So, all right, next. These shoes, they were in a different order. I'm going to save them until I get to there. And this was in this order, different order. All right. I'm all in a different order. Look, I got the nice bags. This wasn't sponsored, but my other one was. I think if you're, I got this for my grandson because, well, they were like 68 cents, but I gave one to his sister and he wanted one and I he wants to put his stickers in it. So I said, okay, I'll get you one. And then I got another one in case another one wants it because we don't want anybody to feel left out and like I jipped them. Do we? We gotta make it fair. Luckily, I don't have all 35 of them here at one time. All right, what did I get next here? These. Where is it? I just saw it. A bracelet. Is this a different order? 
Yes, all of this is a different order. Well, now I got them out. This isn't. I paid $2.23 for this. And you're going to go, what is it? All right. I'm thinking about the apocalypse. If it hits, I have a barbecue, I have a gas stove, I have my RV. But, you know, what if we have to bug out and run? I paid $2.23 to get, I don't know what this is, to get secure. They gave me a bracelet. Well, it goes like this, and it has this little thing. You're supposed to make a circle out of this. All right. Now, I, I don't know if I'm doing things right, because I wasn't an Eagle Scout. I never went, you know, to do, do all that. But they show you could buy an alcohol thing. But I'm thinking that this is just like that. One of these steno. And I bought a whole bunch of these in my closet for when I need to cook something. Okay. And I thought of everything. Let's get rid of this. That's a clothing item I'm not going to take. I got this. A little pot. <laughs> okay. Did, how much was my pot? What did I knock over? The pot. Oh, this was only four fifty-four. Non-stick feast. I think you're supposed to melt milk in it. Heat milk in it for your coffee. I don't drink coffee, so I didn't buy this, this, or this for coffee. I just bought it because I'm trying to get this sticker off because we don't want it to burn on there maybe it'll burn off if i anyway you know i want to be able to eat wherever i go okay so i'm thinking of everything what's inside of here i wonder gel chaffing flu fuel I never opened one of these before. I just went one time and bought a. They're only. This was when the dollar store really was a dollar, and I bought a whole bunch of them. You only use only as directed in food warming equipment. Always place cans in designated holder before lighting. Use upright or on level surface. Okay, I am. All right. Do not. With a stem match or lighter, do not burn unattended or near combustible materials. Never touch a burning can. To open cautiously, pry lid off with a blunt object, not intended for reuse. Oh no, if I open it, it's going to be gone forever. Keep can tightly sealed when not in use. Store in well-ventilated, cool place to extinguish slide metal plug upon upside down over opening. It burns up to two hours. I don't really want to do it alone. But they show you put this after you light it and stuff. Let's just see if they show more pictures of it actually working. They do. Look. Here it is. That's what it's going to be looking like. I think I'd rather do it in the kitchen than in my bedroom. They give you a little video. But put your pot on there. I want to see what the pot looks like on there. Oh, they don't even show. They don't even show you getting a pot. For, oh, wait. Here's this cord. Where's that cord go to? This little thingy goes around it. Maybe to hold it together on here. I don't know. All right. So, and then I bought this little pot, too, because I didn't know if this one would be too big. I didn't know the size of this one was going to be so little. This would be, like, for milk. What would this? Oh, it's cute, though. Heavy. I wonder how much I paid for it. It's probably in the other order. It is. It's in the other or no, it isn't. I like two fifty four, but if you spend a little bit more, four fifty four, two more dollars, you get this one. 
this would be good for melting butter. I don't know why you'd melt it, but maybe it's going to be for looks. Anyway, I brought a can of soup because I was going to really actually do it. But I want to try this can opener. Have you seen these on there? I got it a while back. And I wanted to see if we could make it work. Because I tried it and I didn't, I, I just said, never mind. How, however, I, I still might say, never mind. I'll just use my other one. And then what does this do? I don't see what it does. I'm stupid about this stuff. You got to put it on there. Oh, you have to put that in first like this. And then when you turn it, it pops out. Okay. Now, how do you hook it? So you must just put this on here. And yeah, you put it on here. Maybe it's on this side. And you turn it. Is it doing it? Am I doing it right? Do you see why I said forget it and I just got out my other one? No, it's doing it. I think it's doing it. It's doing something. Oh, it's cutting down below. I heard that, that somebody on there said that. Yep, look. Right. And then you just push this in and this comes off. Okay. And then we're going to put it in here. You could put the can right on here and eat it. Maybe. It's going to be my lunch now. But like I said, I'm too scared to do it in here. We're going to do that in the kitchen sometime. And we're going to do all this. Because I'm prepared now for everything. We got it going on. For just a few dollars, less than $10, we're going to have our food. I'm happy about that. Where's my rag? You know, if anybody knows me, they know how I have my rags and under my chair. And I cut up my husband's shirts and I use them for this dirty work because I don't wanna have my pretty towels ruined. So I save these, I wash them and I put them in this bag. And why do I have this tape on here? Where'd it come from? Under my chair. So anyway, I have my baggy rags here. I have pretty ones too. All right. Now we can start good again. Let's get to another subject, another topic. All right. How much? This is going to be long. Okay. I got this because it was only $4.28. And you know I don't need it, because now I have nothing to hide with my purses, because you guys all saw it. But I do not have a gold purse. And for that price, I said, I'm going to have a gold purse for $4.28, a gold bag. And they, oh, they're getting worse on their dust bags. This is like cobweb fabric. Look how cute. How does it open? Oh, you just turn this little thing. Oh, let me see. Let me see. You want my phone number? Let me see. Oh, let's, and it does fit your phone. Yes. Okay. That's past the test. A long handle and the short one. It's going to be cute. And then if my granddaughters want to borrow it, I'll let them. Okay. That was a good purchase. More little stuff I'm going to put over here. Now this. This is so... I couldn't believe this when I saw it. So I ordered it. It's not for me, though. 
because I know at my age, I could never get in and out of it, even with my new hips. But it was only three ninety eight, dollars and it had been, it's sold out, but they have other ones. The rest of them, though, are 10 and 12 and 13 and a lot more money. So when I saw it for three ninety eight, dollars and I saw what the value really was, I said, I'm getting one. Because, you know, we have a deck out here, a double-decker deck. Well, what I'm saying is we have a deck below and then my bedroom deck up here. So it's easy to hang these in my house area. Let me see if there's a good picture of one. They don't even show it very good, but it's like this. And it hang, the hammock thing. And like I say, I, I maybe could get in it, but I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> My sister, Lisa, one time. And how much weight is it going to hold, I wonder? It'll be for the children. I won't let my husband in it. Anyway, I'm not going to undo it all because, you know, I might want to give it away even. But we have all the structure that we could hang a hammock in the, out there good. And you know how they like it. Or we could take it to the tree house and hang it up there for people to sleep outside and up in the tree. 20 feet or whatever. It's 22 feet up or something. I don't know. And some person might want to sleep outside instead of in the tree house. So for three ninety eight, dollars for when I go bugging out to my tree house. Well, that came right back. Okay, now stay over there. Good, I did it. Okay, and what's next? Glad I bought that. Okay, these. These are beautiful. Now I know what they are. I saw. I paid $3.43 for them. And I got two of them. Exactly the same. One for me. My sister's favorite color is red. So I got her one. She probably got herself one. Shauna. Anyway, you know, it unscrews. You fill it with whatever you want. Mouthwash. You can fill it with perfume. Hairspray. I don't know. Hairspray. Anything you want. And take it with you. Look how beautiful that is. Can you see it? For three forty, You couldn't make it for that. So I love that. And this one I got to put over here for my sister. I don't want to open it. All right. Next is these extenders for my gold jewelry. It will probably tarnish this first time they get wet. They're supposed to be stainless steel. That's good. It won't rust around your neck anyway. But they're just three extenders. One at different lengths. Because when you have a gobble like I do and a short neck, not all necklaces are created equal or perfect. You need these so that you can lengthen the necklace under your chin for longerness. I'm glad I got those. Then I got this bracelet because you know I needed it really bad. <laughs> I don't see it here. It's in a different order, I think. So look at it. It's pretty. A pearl. And rhinestones. They're going to think it's real. A real chopped and formed pearl. Now this, because we make Swedish pancakes, and I wanted this bad because it looked like a dream come true when you make the crepes. Because, you know, Swedish, look, we can make it ourselves. Make a whole bunch of them for Christmas for everybody. If you had a drill and a saw... And this is supposed to go in that hole. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. And you pour the batter in the pan, and then this smooths the batter out when you make them. I'm going to get these for all my children because they all made. I taught them how. It's, it's a tradition. See, here it is. It shows using it. This is a tradition 
and it's only 89 cents, but every Christmas morning we have these for breakfast. So I'm gonna get some, there I added it, because they will all want it. And then I got this because if you're a sewer, you know, you know. If you're not a sewer, I'll teach you something. See these? All right, you don't have a safety pin nowadays because they make them like crap and they won't work. So you gotta get, I just happen to have some right here. Your elastic came out of your dress, Your I mean your pant waist. So you get this and you pinch this on and you push this up here and it holds the elastic and then you can string it through your hoodie, your waist, or wherever you're stringing, your string through, your bag. Well, I used to have some of these and they, I don't, I don't know what happened to them. So I'm gonna put them right here in my sewing. It's gonna come in handy. How much did I pay for those? I will let you know later. Okay, there's something else here for my cooking I forgot. Oh, where is it? Right here. I paid $5.59. So this is a deluxe cooker thing. Now let's see how you use it. Okay, you put this under here. Oh, does it go this way or this way? I got to look at the picture. It goes this way. No. I can't tell. Yeah, it's this way. Okay, you put it like this. And then you can have a bigger pot that you put up here and cook. So that is going to be great because, you know, we might have more than just one person for dinner when the electricity goes out and stuff for $5.59. I'm glad I got that. It's gonna, I'm gonna use it a lot. <laughs> okay, what else? Nothing in that baggie. All right, this for my shoes. Cause I have shoe problems, maybe. You don't know until you put your shoe on and then you know you have a problem. How much did I pay for it? All right, I think we're done with this order. I can go to the other one. All right, no, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go to the other one. I paid for the shoe guards, 98 cents. So they're like 50 cents each. And it has stickums on it. And this goes in the back of the heel and this goes down. So I, in my closet, I have a shoe box that has all my shoe aids like this in it. Things that if I put on a pair of shoe, I might need a foam pad to go in it. Or when I clean my shoe closet out, I maybe I'll show it to you. And you will think, I need a shoe box with those aids in it too. And it was only 98 cents. So I'm going to put that. Oh, and this bracelet was 89 cents. Now, I got these. Because, you know, when I'm old... When I'm real old, older than I am now, anyway, I'm thinking I might, what size are these? Size seven, they look huge. I might need a flat shoe, but I still want a decorative shoe. Because, you know, I'm not going to change my decorativeness the older I get. So I got these. They were only six fifty eight. I want to try one on. Because, you know... They're so pretty. And my foot's right here, so why not? Has Velcro? Yes, because when you're old, you need Velcro. Oh, they feel like slippers. You guys gotta get them. Get the wheat grinder and get your Velcro shoes. Oh, they're cute. Aren't they? <laughs> I'm not gonna wait till I'm old. I'm gonna wear them now. I love them. Okay, what else? What else did I get? Oh, these two things were 71 cents and I got two of them. So times that. All right, then I got this and it was $8.18. 
why did I get it? Do I need it? No, but it looks so cute on that lady. I don't know the lady's name or anything, but it looks so cute. And I have white blouse and black pants, and I can just see. I could wear those black shoes with white, with the pants. But, you know, I have like their shiny pants, but it looks so cute. And it's not really gingham. It stinks though. Oh, wash it. I wonder why it smells like that. It's not the fishy smell. Oh, I like it. For $8.18. Here's the picture of it. Did you like it? Would you order it if you saw it? I did. I ordered it when I saw it. Look how cute this will be. I'm wearing a white shirt, too. Does it really have these? <gasps> Look, they're real. Oh, I like it. I'll have to move the buttons over, as always. Oh, I like it. But, you know, if I go around somebody and they hug me and they smell it, they're going to go, oh, I... You smell kind of bad. <sighs> Looks cute with this. You know, I've told before why I bought this. Dandelion um, blowing. When I was a little girl, I loved blowing them. And I was in my own little world out in the field, and I would just go pick them and blow them. And my dad thought it was the cutest thing in the world. So he gave me great praise. And he would tell everybody, oh, Angela loves blowing those. You have to be careful that you don't get your wetness on them, though, because it sticks to it. But anyway, I love doing it even more then because I got such praise. This would be cute over a black dress. How Do they show it any other way? No. They show with a red purse. I have a red purse. And that I don't like this necklace so much, a fish necklace. I got a better necklace than that. And the back somehow has a, does the back have a thing? Yeah, right here. Isn't that cute? $8. You couldn't make it for that. Oh, I'm lucky. Now, here's the next thing I got. Because it was only like $8 too. It's in the other order. And I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. I think I saw it for $4 now. It's scarf fabric. Don't like that fabric too much. But I'll show you why I got it. And I thought it was white, but this is more of a beige, which is fine. I like that better. Okay, it's this kind of dress, right? Remember my blue shoes? Okay, picture it. I'm gonna wear this with the blue shoes. And I got this for like, I'll tell you in a minute. And it's gonna be so smashingly. I wasn't gonna use that word anymore. It's gonna be darling, my favorite jacket, one of them. Okay, let's picture it. Let's picture it made up. But I probably have to wait for the snow to go away because the shoes are open toe. All right, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna model it for you. When I get a few more things, I'll do another dress model. Since that one, when that, that one I did for 10 dressed models from Timu dresses, it got like 24,000, thousand views. But I don't have that many subscribers. Guess they didn't like it. They didn't subscribe to me. Just think if all of them subscribed, how I would be doing good. Okay, pretend I'm wearing this. And the blue jacket with this dress. And then the blue shoes. That's going to be like outfit number 28 that I have lined up to wear. I love it. I can just see it. Okay, now I need this. Excuse me for showing my backside. Okay. Now, this is for my next display. Because I have this. Where is it? I 
had it lined up and it fell. Sorry. Excuse me. Because I liked the pink one, the brown one, and the blue one, I got a green one. The same jacket. $10.14. You couldn't make it for that with this fake suede fabric. And I got this green one because, you know, army green is in style, if you didn't know that. And I even have some pants this color. They'll think I'm wearing a pantsuit. But look at this. I have this green dress that's kind of plain. And I modeled it before, and I like it. I got this jacket to go over it. And then, look, I could take that gold purse with gold shoes. And I know I have a necklace that will be perfect. So that's outfit number 29. Okay, so, but when the last time I demonstrated, I tried on the gold shoes I have. And I do have a problem with them, because look, I've put this in here. But I didn't know, and I have problems with these pink shoes too. So I ordered these things, and we're gonna see if they really do work. All right. Now, some of them were $1.19. The gold ones were a dollar. The pink ones were a dollar. So they're real cheap. And some of them have pearl things, elastic. And one of those silver ones. I don't know what that is. White ones. I wanted to be prepared with every, whatever shoe. And since they were just a dollar, I can afford that. So what you do is... I wore these, and it was like flip-flops. And, you know, you can't walk like a lady when that happens. So you get these, and what is this piece? Somebody gave me an extra little piece. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know. So you get these, and you put them around here like this, and then it just looks like part of the shoe Buckle. Have you ever seen them before? I'll show you what they look like um, on a shoe. Here is the shoe. Well, they match that one perfect. Um, okay, see this lady. She's having troubles walking, and then she got that around her shoe. And they look cute if you find the right shoe and the right style. Look, she got a black one for that shoe. Isn't that a great idea? And so, you know, I'm thinking this might be the answer to my dreams come true for my shoes that I love but have that problem. And look at all the colors you could get to try to match. Well, I have these pink shoes and I wore them. The problem is, I'll tell you what the problem is. Um... It flips on like this. This is so low in the back that my foot comes out of it. So I got these pink ones, but they're not really the right shade of pink. Oh, and they gave me an extra piece too. Maybe you take it with you to match or something. They only give you one piece. I don't know what that would be good for. So then you put this around here and then your shoe you probably put the buckle. Where would you put the buckle? Oh, just here on the side. And then your shoe will stay on. Okay. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be great. But I'll just, you know, I told you about my shoe box I have with my shoe aids in there. So I'm just going to put all these in there when I have a problem. I won't have to get rid of the shoes, and I won't have to try to find a shoe filler. I can just put these. I got black ones and beige. And then these are black ones with the bigger buckle, black ones with the tinier buckle, and white ones. And clear. These are clear ones. And then you can't even see it, so I don't know. But I only spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably ten dollars. It's worth it to have on hand to save an outfit, early morning outfit. 
It doesn't matter who's looking at you. Nobody. All right. I have one more thing here. What's in here? I don't know. We're going to see. This is what I need. I want to try them. I want to see how strong the magnets really are for your necklace. Remember? Oh, yeah. They're pretty good. For old people, we need these. How much did I pay for them? Oh, they're in the other order. It's okay. We'll find it. It's right here. Right here. I'm getting good at finding these orders and stuff. All right. If you really care how much it costs, probably doesn't cost that anymore. Those extenders were $1.47, the gold ones for three. And these were $1.31, and you got five pair. I need gold ones now. Oh, these are going to be nice. I'm going to put them in this baggie because that baggie's ruined. These are going to be such an aid for me. I'll put this in here too. Because I have a place over there for this kind of stuff. For my necklace aids. I'm organized. All right. And then what else did you want to know? Oh, the blue jacket was $13.97. I had to pay a little more for it because... It was blue, I guess, because the green was only 10. And then the dress that actually does look white, and it is not white. But it was only five fifty eight, So that's why I got it, because now it's four sixty seven. She has yellow with it. I won't wear yellow with it. I wear blue. <laughs> I hope it fits me. I got a 2X. No, I did not. I got a, yeah, I did. Extra, extra large. They're sold out of that size now. So I'm hoping it fits. But maybe they have different ones. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of different ones. You're, you never have to. Oh, here's my favorite dress. They still have it. The prison dress, 948. Remember that? What would that look like with this black and white? I'm not desperate for outfits is the thing. I don't need to make up weird things for an outfits because I got real sensible things already. All right. It was a fun order. I'm going to go make something. You know, but I'm going to tell you this about wheat flour. I'm not an expert, but I do know, do know a few things about it. Do so you see how I ground it up? Like, I can't take that whole thing of wheat to my son's and have him grind up in his machine everything. Because once you grind it up, it will start, if you don't use it, it starts losing its nutrition, nutrition, nutritional aspects of it. And it will start, and then it gets weevil and bugs in it faster. So if you leave it as the whole grain... You can store it longer, and it's better to store in that way. That's why I have this, like this, and I don't grind it till I'm ready to use it. So now I have some here. I'm going to go make some bread sticks or something, bread, because I do love to make bread, and I have the best recipe, and... I'm not probably ever going to demonstrate it, though, because everybody does bread and everybody has their favorite recipe. All right, I think that is everything. And I, you know what I'm going to do? These baggies are um, thrift store up here. They buy Ziploc baggies and, like, they'll put a bundle of toys in it or, you know, stuff. I'm going to take all of because I've kept them all practically. I'm going to take a whole stack of them to that store and say, here, can you use these? They won't have to buy the Ziploc baggies then. So I think that'll be nice of me. I'm going to do that someday. Not today because the kids are going to come home any minute now. So um, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, Watch next time and maybe you'll like it or watch some of my older ones and maybe you'll like them. And the other thing is, um, 
have a good day and material mom will always consider you my video friends